Planning meals for the week is so exhausting. So let me help you how to figure out how to make it a little bit easier. Welcome to my meal planning basic series where I share everything you need to know about efficiently and easily planning out your meals for the week. As a registered dietitian, I'm very passionate about having balanced and delicious meals to eat throughout the week and sometimes it is so hard to figure out what the heck to eat. We're kicking off the series with the first section which is going to be how to find recipes and what to look for in the recipes that you find. First thing first is where to look for recipes. You can look on TikTok, Instagram, Google, Pinterest, whatever platform that you like and normally I search using keywords like balanced lunches or tasty lunches, whatever kind of follows your boat when it comes to looking for recipes. And then as you find recipes that you like, one of my main tips is to save it to a folder. So I have a folder on Pinterest, on Instagram, and on TikTok, like recipes or foods to make. So that way they're always going to be there. They're there if I like them, I can go back and make them again. And they're all in one spot. So I'm not continuously scrolling every single week to find new stuff. And that's a huge time saver. Then there's a few very important questions you want to ask yourself when choosing the perfect recipes to make for your week. Does it appetize you? Does it look good? Do you want to eat it? Does the recipe meet your culinary skill level? Do you have the equipment that you need at home to make the recipe? Do you have any of the ingredients that are listed already at home? What's the serving size? Am I cooking for just myself? Am I cooking for more than one person? Is the recipe balanced? Does it have a good source of protein, fat, fiber, fruits, and veggies? Is it a balanced plate? And if it meets all of your amazing criteria that you need it to meet, then go ahead and save it to your folder so it's ready for you to make. So those are some key things that I consider when I'm choosing my recipes that I want to make. Stay tuned for the next video in the series where I'm going to show you how to turn those recipes into a grocery list to make grocery shopping super quick and efficient.